All right, it is the rundown. Let's go, Nate. It is the best crew Let's that go, we Nate. could assemble. You asked, we delivered. It's YP, it's Feidelberg, it's Barstool Nate, and it is May 23rd. It's the last rundown before Memorial Day. Have a good Memorial Day, everybody. Wow. Um, let's get this thing going. A girl pooped in an elevator. No, no, I'm saying like, what if this person yeah, right yeah, there, yeah, what if they be, came on? Way more embarrassing. You she know? doesn't even look nervous. Yeah. Doesn't even look worried. She looks good, eh? Why did she take off the shoes? <laughs> Why not just anyway, take that, off the sweaters? That, there's <laughs> no fucking way. That thing was coming. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy <laughs> no. It's the grossest video I've ever seen. I oh, almost puked on. watching it. No, I don't do poop. Like I gag when I see pu poop. She got in an elevator. She was doing like the rock and roll. She knew she had a poop to the point she took off her shoes because she knew she was going to poop. She pooped and she darted off the elevator. I said, I don't poop shame. When you got to poop, you got to poop. Sometimes you can't help it. You said you will poop shame. So no, that on. was before I saw the video. I thought like I thought it was like a drunk girl who like, took her pants off and shit in the elevator. Mm -hmm. Now I've seen the video and it was an emergency situation. I, I get this. I like I, I did it once. I was stuck. Okay, here we go. I was stuck on a bridge. This is, I did, this is so weird. I don't understand why I did it this way. I was stuck on a bridge and uh, I, I got. I finally like I was like kind of doing the squirm. Mm -hmm. doing, In like, a car. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, how'd you get stuck on a bridge? No, he was like, driving. Okay, I was like that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever walked across a bridge in my life. I drive across bridges. Okay. People have automobiles, Ben, and what you do is you drive. Them I mean, I've been. All bridge. right, go on. Go um, on. And I was like, you know, like you, you start sweating and the whole thing, you're just trying to think about anything else. I finally got off the bridge. I don't even get to take the full exit. I have to pull over on the side of the exit and run into the woods. And for some reason, I brought like a plastic bag with me and I shit in the bag. And it smells so bad. Well, I didn't bring the bag back with me. <laughs> no, but no, like, I didn't realize, bring the bag back in the car. Tie you don't off. realize that the water does wonders for when you poop. I, when you I, poop think I, I didn't even I notice that. It, it, was, it, was like, it was like, it was like, it was just fast into a bag for some reason and then just left the bag there too. It was <laughs> fucking weird. Actually, news, not biodegradable. First of all, I love the dog came out fired up. That was a great, that was like Thank a you. first hey, shift you came you. out yeah. hitting and I appreciate your intensity. And we're talking poop, brother. We're talking shit right now and you you know what? I just want to say too that the similar thing, I didn't bring the bag, but I've had to shit in the woods many times, like when, you especially you're fishing woods, or something. Yeah. And it's definitely a weird thing because like you forget too much like you would, you're saying you forget the smell. When I shit, it's weird because it just kind of sits in a pile, like on the ground. <laughs> like, you never think about, like, in the water, it goes down and it kind of floats away. When you shit, like, everyone looks at dog shit or this other type of shit. That's what it looks like when, when a human shits, too. It's just a pile. And I When went, you shit in the woods, what do you, you use leaves? This time, I was near my car and had, uh, like, these wet wipes. Oh, good. But then it's like... I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna have a confession. I, I littered. I left the. I mean, what was I gonna do? But Bring the wipes yeah, back? I think you can't. You, you have can't to get just away fucking. Right that one. First of all, I tried to spread my ass as far as possible. <laughs> what? I'm not trying to do like a wipe thing. <laughs> so you're sitting there, bro. I'm literally just like. Stop. Like I'm talking. It was almost like my intestines were just going straight out. Yeah, you were rosebud in that. Because I'm not trying to have like I didn't want. You don't want to clean up. <laughs> so I tried to go like a straight poop shoot, like straight up, no butt cheeks, just boom on the ground. How did you do? I think, I mean, I think it was pretty good, bro. I actually took a picture. It was weird. It was like the first summer I worked Wait, at Marshall. Wait, okay, so yeah. Why did you take a picture? Because it was so funny to me. I was going to tweet it, and I was like, I don't think I can tweet like a pile of shit in, wet, in dirty wipes. <laughs> Casey didn't know what we were talking Casey about. It was so funny. The mic. <laughs> but like, it was funny to me because I was like, damn, this is hilarious. Like this shit. It was just a funny oh, scenario. Man. Just in the middle of the Let woods with like a pile of shit. And then sometimes I was like, you don't need to take a picture of things. That's one of the times. I do have it. If the rundown people want to put it out, <laughs> find the picture. Yeah. All right. So the, uh, and the craziest like, I, thing I, I, was I don't get. I don't we, get the people on this. Oh, you sorry. You go ahead. No, the weirdest thing was I was near this thing and I was walking out of the woods. And fucking not. Five minutes later, I saw these kids riding their bikes near there, and I was like, imagine if. And they were like ten years old. I'm like, imagine if you're a 10 year old and you're just riding through the woods, you see a guy taking a shit like with his ass <laughs> spread far apart. Like, like, hey, that fellas. could have been some like weird shit. Right, we but got then the guys on the video were like, I don't get why she took off her shoes. Like, I, as far as I best know. case, she scenario, thought it was gonna be splashing. <laughs> as far so, as, first of all, oh, as, yeah. as far as best case scenario, shitting in public, like this is best case scenario. This is she got her shoes off, she had a skirt on, 
Like yeah. this is like, no underwear. It if, seemed like too. Yeah, I mean that. If, if she if she had underwear, she ripped right through that. Oh, that. <laughs> um, the this is. I mean, this is best. Right? She like she did it in an elevator, so she like no one was waiting for her. I don't know where I mean, that camera footage comes camera. from. Wait, Any other elevator? That's messed up. Like, what do you mean we don't know where it comes Someone from? released that footage. Yeah, I mean, I mean the guys funny. are talking. It's guys, the security guys who watched it. Yeah. That's but the can you imagine? Game, dude. Oh yeah, they sent it to buddies on their cell phones, and then it just goes. Can you imagine though, like? This chick got off on the 62nd floor, and you're on floor 68 waiting for your elevator, and it opens, and there's just a pile of shit on the ground. I mean, that's I've seen I've seen poop in elevator I before. Yeah. Not I didn't see it happen, but I've seen an elevator. Like a do- an elevator before. is open to you. And the doors open, and there's just shit on the floor. Yes, you shake your not head. a ton, but I've seen in it. New York. I remember I was like with my hockey team or something, and it was like a hotel or something. And we we're like, oh my god, there's poop in the elevator. It was like a big thing. We were laughing. All right, next but topic. Honestly, next topic. No I just want to say, dog. I'm puke. For this is, I don't want to see any shaming at all because this, when you have to go and you cannot control That's what it, I'm saying. it that is the I worst would have shamed thing if she took history. her pants off and like did it and was being a dick. I'd shame, but then like, this no is one the diarrhea hit. She had to do. It happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No yeah. one yeah. should say a bad okay. word about this. Was this was like the, damn it? The, the I really want to move on. Embodiment of like uh, <laughs> when you're like right, sitting in a bush and you hear something squish, diarrhea. Yes. <laughs> diarrhea. Oh, this is like when you're riding in an elevator and you. Yeah, well, I don't know what happened. You should have let me move on. The look man. on her face too, dude. Too oh my God, that panic when <laughs> she's doing the rock and kind of looks upstairs, and I was like, Oh man, it's coming. Bad when you're news. riding in the lift and you hear rumbling shit, diarrhea, Not diarrhea. Supportive. There you go, I made it. Okay, love it. <laughs> Guy Fieri, he told his hairstylist, "Do what you want." He came out with his like hairdo that everybody knows him. Best time that you've ever trusted a barber, and then the barber gave Guy Fieri his haircut. He could have got anything else. He got that, and now he's world famous. I mean... I do that every time. I've, ever I've, I've lu- never gotten it. Nobody's ever been luckier with a haircut than No him. one's ever dyed my hair. I mean, every time, I'm like, do whatever you want. I don't care. I, 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 I mean, you love your hair. What are you talking about? Well, I like it, but I just, like, when I get a cut, I'm like, I don't know what I want to do as you want. That's not true. Yeah. It's very true. I, I, in fact, it's so true that like, like our, our girl Fleischman now, like, I can't even tell her what I want. She just does what she wants. I'll be like, yeah. I like this. She'll be like, nah, 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 that's not going to work for you. I'll oh, do that. Oh, that would make something. me so mad, dude. That's why I'm not nah, on that. I trust Fleshman her. Every time tank, it works. Dude, I'm not on that. If Remember she tried to tell like, me my hair, it'd be like, all right, I, I'm She's out. a hair expert. I'm not a hair expert. Do what you want. You're not a she hair expert everybody on your own haircut. Hair. No, I'm not. Yeah, she gives everyone the same. <laughs> Dog, that's why you don't go there, right? That's why I don't go there. See? I like my own unique Show them, show them how you like it. So here's the thing with me. Yeah, quick change. I need, yeah, why that was fucked up. It's a joke. I've been struggling with my receding hairline since I, I think I think we're 26. I think we're, we're past it. It was receding in the, no, yeah, receding in the front, bald in the back. I don't since remember. I was about 26. See. And my brother had been telling hey, me. We're not going to keep, we're not going to stay in here telling lies. Hold on, I have to get this off my chest. My brother's been telling me, dude, just shave it off, shave it off. But I like the idea of having hair, so it's like, you know, you don't shave it off. Well, I finally, two weeks ago, I like buzzed it all the way down, you know, to like a one. And I was like, all right, that looks a lot better. So right now it's like on that growth back, but I think I'm going to go today Let's and just see. shave it all off. Yeah, it's not great right now. It's not that bad, it's dude. It's not great, though. But when you're balding it in the back. It gets back, it's it, it just gets, gets I He's do, pretty good, I get though, like so. the Dr. Phil, like where it's just like right there, and then you still have it around the edges. It's tough. It's but one of those things. Uh, don't ever grow up. I never cared about. Like, it's always like, who cares, ball, whatever. It's like when I have gray hair and people start chirping you, and it's nope. more just the fact that you realize you look in the mirror, like when you're alone, like really alone at you. night, and you're like, this is only going one way. No. <laughs> like, it's never coming back, and it's very scary. There's this bar, that, well, there are a few bars, but a bar I went to two weekends ago that makes you take off your hat. It's not even a nice bar. It's like a dingy-ass bar. They're very self-important, and they made me take off my hat, and I kept putting it back on, and the bouncers were like, this is your last warning. I was like, look at my hair, dude. What do you want me Did to you do? Did you tell him who you were? Were you like, I'm the dog? No, he didn't seem to care that I was the dog. <laughs> And so I you show him the video of me falling over that box when I bodied you and destroyed your you life. Showed it. You should have showed the bodyguard that, and he would have been like, "All right, man." Keep yeah, it but on. if you're a bar and you make me take off my hat, I don't go to your bar. Um, like did, but yeah, should we talk true. about the Connecticut man who said he would turn himself in for fifteen thousand likes on Facebook, or should we talk about? The Amazon warehouse workers. Bro, we Absolutely. talked about this on a radio show the other day, and I've never believed in a theory more. Other than, like, heinous crimes. Prison people, like, this is kind of a similar type of thing. They should give people, like, camera phones in prison, and whoever gets, like, the best content out of a thing should have, like, their sentence reduced. Like, make it, it's like, it's like a reality show. It's its own reality show. What does the jail benefit from this? 
Money? Content. Money. People oh, are selling ads. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they they're doing a reality reads for like whoever, and it's like, next thing you know. I mean, that sounds like a Black Mirror episode. It's like very dystopian. I'm like, done with that. I'm done with that. Black Mirror? Stop show. saying that. I know. The Black uh, Mirror thing has become. You don't like that everybody compares technology it's to the onion. Black Mirror. It's like, oh, is that the onion? No, it's a weird headline. I mean, like, oh, is this Black Mirror? No, it's just how the, how the world works now. But honestly, yeah, dude, like, really, tell me, though. tell me who. Really, would... I, I people say once a day, someone be like, "This is like Black Mirror. This is like Black yeah, Mirror." Yeah, because you could totally see a jail monetizing prisoners holding cell phones. That's exactly like Black but that, Mirror. But that's just that's like exactly that's just something that you can see just in the future without Black Mirror. Yeah, but it sounds like what they would do as an episode. The, but like any any weird headline sounds like a headline. Yeah, but when you're right? compar- when you're trying like, to make a right, comparison get, in get, real yes. life, Black Mirror is a popular show about technology. We get it. Yeah, that's how people talk though. When you make a comparison to real life, but but eventually, eventually, a phrase jumps a shark. Damn, that didn't hmm, age like well. That yeah. Damn, that <laughs> aged well. Your take is get not going to age well. That's from your thing. I, I get it. Because people do that. That's my favorite NHL playoffs thing. Like, it'll be like, let's go Blues. And then they'll, like, if they'll get scored. Wow, this aged well. Like, what are you talking about? You fucking idiots. Like, it makes no sense. I, all I'm saying is, I'm, tell me that that plan wouldn't be great. You wouldn't watch jail people that have all day, every day. Oh, to it make actually content? is like that episode when they're chasing around that woman with the cell phone and she doesn't know. And then at the end, it's like the grand reveal. Exactly like that Black Mirror episode. It actually is just like that, now that I think about it. Oh, you're so bad now. <laughs> well, go ahead. Get, no, because I know what the next headline is. Go ahead. No, we're going to skip that one. Oh, we're skipping how Amazon's like Black Mirror? Yeah, yeah. I said, which one do you want to <laughs> do? You, you bluffed him out of it. No, no, come on, dog. You're going to let him do no, that? I introduced both topics before. It was a pick which topic we want. I said, which one would you rather but the do? Dog, but, who wrote the, but who wrote the blog about the Black Mirror Amazon? What's that have to do with anything? Because now you're backing off. It's your blog. No, I let talk you about it. I said, which one would you like to do? The In Facebook my rundown one? list, they were all on there. Yeah, but then I didn't want to do both. I said, which one would you like to do? Seems Play like Fiverr kind of bluffed you off that blog topic. I just so say. Amazon. By the way, I, I'm with this. I think this is a good idea. I, I, I think you should have. A it great sh- idea. It should be like, so, so to explain, uh, Amazon in their warehouses, the, if the, wor- the better workers are, mm-hmm. they get points. They get shroot bucks. Another TV show reference and uh, wow, office references really. And they, you Yikes. can, you can uh, mm. get stuff with them. I think that's awesome. I, I think you should just be given money. But like, I mean, it's like same thing here. They get you swag, get They get swag bucks. That's what Amazon calls them. You get the other thing that's crazy too is like when people care about what happens in other offices. When people get mad online or something, it's like. You don't work at Amazon. If you don't want to have that, then don't work there. Well, you know, I, mean, I disagree with that. You can you can want workers to be. I, I, but it's like they, they may treated, love that. If shit. There there are much worse things happening in Amazon factories, like people passing out from no water or breaks, <laughs> than like them getting some t-shirts. With yeah, Amazon like that's them. awesome. Like it's like if that's how they're gonna run their like games, it'd be like getting mad at us for t-shirt bonuses. Exactly, like, it's a bonus. That's not. It's, your it's job. not a good bonus, but it's a bonus. But they can only use their bonuses on Amazon branded apparel. Right, so, not a good bonus, but yeah. it's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, but they also probably, I don't know, yeah. Plus, plus like, I would have, if that was, like, it's it's done like an old Nintendo 64 game. Well, like, yeah. it's, it's got graphics and you're racing. I'd fucking do it. would like if, if they were pedaling point, a bike to get points. I, I was, if, like, it's like if, if you, the more clicks you got, the faster your car went around. You'd, like. Hmm, it's almost like that. Uh, final topic. <laughs> what do you mean it's almost like that? It's just like that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, I'm lost. Like Lenny Balls went into show. the ocean. Dave wrote a great blog about it, the video Glenny made. All he wanted to do was go into the Pacific Ocean. He'd never seen the Pacific Ocean. I've also never seen the Pacific Ocean. Um, really? I've been to California for two hours on a layover from Vegas. And you never even from the plane saw it? Oh, I meant like I've never stepped on the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. I don't think I saw Yeah, I guess I saw it on a plane. I don't know. Anyway, Glenny went to the ocean. It's an amazing video. I don't really have much to add to it. Listen, uh, Dave called balls. him Winnie the Pooh, which I laughed very out loud about. Big Time Ball is one of my favorite people. I, I think in the world of Barcelona, there's so many things going on, right? Like people get, there's so many things to yeah. focus on. And a lot of people. people. may Yeah, people may not always be like, balls may, you know, you may have forgotten at some points just in the midst of all the things, burgers, this, that. <laughs> balls is one of my favorite people that there is. He's a genuine, kind-hearted human. Loves Billy Joel. He loves, he loves gambling. Went to Bill, what, uh, one of the more underrated things, went to Billy Joel with Eva Loria. Or Ava Lord. Yeah, the, yeah, they went on a date together. Yeah, to Billy I'm, Joel. I met her that day too. Porn star. Yeah, rock. It was like an actual date, I believe. No, I think she's no. married, but it, it wasn't. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. Well, she fucks her money. I think she fucked Glenny. I balls. think she fucked Glenny. Uh, balls. Okay. No, she did. I like I to be there. on record that I believe they fucked. But either way, balls. I think this is just a pure moment for a great human being, and I love it. I don't know how pure this was. This was weird. 
Huh? I don't the know, roll man. in the water. With, no, that's, who jumps in the water like that? That's Glenn. It was cold, but he wanted to get his body wet so he could feel the whole experience. So he's like, one, two, three, flip. And also, <laughs> you've never been in that stage of the beach where it's like it's not deep, but there's waves that'll come up to like here. So you're kind of like in between. Yeah, I mean, I guess like I guess maybe Glenn, he can't do this. You just like do like a skim dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, he yeah. probably should have gone a little further and jumped. But he you had know to what? rotate 180 to get his full body covered by the water. Like it was half. Yes. It was like a yeah. pancake. I, he had to flip himself over to get. But the that's the top. problem. Like. When I'm casting, right? Like you can either go to a certain point, you're gonna get crushed with waves up to here if you're wearing like shorts or something, or if you want to like, then the wave recedes, you go further, but then it's deeper. I think he was caught in the flux. It happens. Yeah. You know, it, it's a bad, it's a tough spot. Plus to the be, current. But I mean, we're not even taking into account the current. Listen, balls. He's a guy that wanted to be in the Pacific Ocean. He went and did a little polar plunge. To. I'm all for it. I yeah. hope he wins all his bets tonight. His I can't wait for him Pacific. to review In and Out. Did like, he do it? I assume so. You can't go to California to, and not review in and out. He'd have to do a balls review for in and out. That's crazy. So yeah. uh, anyway, that was the rundown. I'd say decent job. Great job, Nate. Great. Uh, High energy. B minus B ish. We had a little sputters here and there, but you know. I would say where this ranks as far as your all time rundown moments definitely worse than the Dave one because that was your best. I, one I mean, of all that time. was me just insulting Big Cat and. Dave and Is Kevin this your first for... one since then? It's the rundown. It's August 14th. That's also, just classic Midwest. Like, they don't have brains out there. Everybody's kind of dumb. So, right. that would I never like, slide. I don't like fake Dave anymore. I don't like fake Dave anymore. You've gone full Dave. Yeah. It would never happen in Boston. We're too smart. We have too big of brains. But you Midwest folk are too oh dumb. My God. You'll let anybody pull one over on you. That's why we're always going to be the best, and they're always going to be corn. The, the, I've never spilled a full coffee, so that might well, be an exaggeration. Well, you are a fat slob, so it wouldn't surprise me if you have. Kevin, you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. even oh if, my god. Even if we created a are... monster. Before this, we're like, yeah, just go ahead. Dude. And, we'll support and you. And like, honestly, we are supporting you. <laughs> he's doing it off the top, too. Yeah. It's not like this is all planned Talk out. He's done it very well. We created a monster. I did not see it going this well. <clears throat> we created a monster. Um, I was trying to remember earlier. I don't know. I will say I, I, this. First one hosting since then. Yesterday, I think I had zero brain cells going on, and I you watched. You held it together well yesterday. I watched I, I a little bit. Tell you were, I, I mean, know. that's all the drugs you do to keep you up. I've never done drugs, so that's yeah. where to go, Nate. But uh, I was gonna say radiator chain thing as like a retort back. But I'm not gonna my say that. Like that. Okay, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> all I'm saying, you know how he had those people chained up in his basement? They're already screaming. It's like keep it down. I don't know where we're at. So anyway, you kissed All off. I was saying was I watched okay. some of it back and I was like, damn, my brain was completely gone. So I just want to say, try to bring a higher energy level today. Yeah, you did. Thanks, dog. And John wanted to talk about kissing dogs. Nah, we're over it. All right, All right. Uh, that's the rundown. Have a great Memorial Shirts Day Shirts on weekend. sale, Memorial Day Shirts on, on sale. sale. You, guys 15. Gotta, you guys gotta do hard over the week. Mm, there's an addery that I didn't do. 15% off. So, um, so that pooper in the elevator is this week's hard over of the week presented by Roman. Keep Roman swipes in your back pocket for longer, better sex and get yours fast with free day, two day shipping by going to getroman.com slash rundown. When you're pooping in an elevator, you are a hardo. You don't care where you're pooping, you're just letting those feces fly. And that's why that lady is my <laughs> Roman's hardo of the week. Presented by Romans, getroman.com slash rundown. Have better, longer sex like Barstool Hubs does by going to getroman.com slash rundown. Dog, dog, you been having any sex lately? Dog. Have you? Dog. When's the last time? Dog. In the past week? Dog. <laughs> You've been having sex in the and past that's week? That's rundown. God bless. I think you have. You Nate's been having sex in the last week? Have you? I, I did. I have not, no. Really? I have not had sex in the last week, no. So you can say it. He has it. That's Dog, you been smashing or what? I'm interested. Brother. What do you think the last time they had sex with? I'm trying to figure it out. I can see it in his eyes. Because he does. The dog fucks. I've seen him fuck before. <laughs> no, I haven't seen it, but I've seen him like with chicks and then leave. That's I know he fucks. When's the last time? Nate's, in May? Nate's just working the mysterious hat guy thing right now. You just, you're just, You've been you, smashing you in May? Mystery up. This month? I don't know. Yeah, he I don't just know. makes these weird faces. He's, he's making he like a yes, but no, I don't know. He just doesn't give answers to faces. You know, they don't say anything at all. This is like a face. All I'm saying is, I think the dog has been doing a little smashing lately. He's got that look on his face. I think that rundown. They've got this weird with? thing about him that, like, I think girls like. I don't know what it is. Dude, I've I... seen, I've seen. Now Ellie's making Nate faces. I've seen like text chains from Nate's, like, like Nate just, just constant text from girls. I've seen this too, John Fadelberg. <laughs> Before I worked here, I was a huge Barcelona fan. 
A lot of times I'd be anti-dog. He's a Capitals fan. I love Sidney Crosby, so I'd, I'd root on his downfall a lot, right? Then I came here. I'm like, okay, I met the dog. Then we got in a lot of fights. You know, when I that box, I fell over it, and then he was standing nearby, and I hated him. So I was like, all right, this guy, I want nothing good to happen. We went to this bar one time. I'm not going to say where it was, but I have a video from someone took a video of me the first time I saw the dog with this chick. I've never been more stunned in my life. Fucking smoke, dude. Absolute Man, smoke. She had huge up. tits, and I literally saw I was like, come on, this is a prank. And someone's like, that's the dog's a girl. And I literally, there's a video. I'll try to find it so they can put it in. I was like, literally didn't speak for two minutes. And I was like, the dog is smashing that? They're like, yeah. And I, I went and ta video. I've talked video. to the chick. She was like a normal girl. <laughs> and she wanted some dog dingling. And I don't know what happened, but the dog somehow, he slings the dick. Seriously. GetRoman.com. You wouldn't expect That's how he he's slinging it. dick. <laughs> More, and I've seen it with two, multiple chicks. Um, I told you, I've seen like text chains where it's like girls being like, will you talk to me? Why are you ignoring me? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I can't you get may not think the dog. Girl, leave me alone. You may not think the dog is slanging. Bro, he's slinging. <laughs> he will sling that dick if you let him. And I tell you what. More than you may expect with some pretty hot. Ch I saw this chick. I was like, damn, I'm trying to talk to the chick and the dog's got me blocked out. It's crazy. But anyways, go to what, what, what GetRoman.com get get slash, slash rundown. You need this or else the dog may move in on your territory. <laughs> you may need to really take this. All right. <laughs> that's it. I guess that's have a good, it. Have a good week. <laughs> the dog, he may be slinging right now. We don't know where he's at. <laughs> If he's out of sight, maybe not.